Alright, we are back with round four of the Red Saturday Tournament. I'm against Scarsing this time. I gotta remember that this tournament is actually open info, so I can look at my opponent's gears and make plays according to that. I, I keep forgetting because I'm not used to it. <laughs> If they ever add open info in the game, it's going to take a lot of time to get used to. So, double toxic again. That seems to be a common theme. There's also Shmeen Saipat, possible rage on Shimmerian. I've seen some other plays, or some other games the Scarsing's been playing. This is a half full Scaravolt. So that's something to be wary of. He doesn't have a lot to deal with Earth. If he, so we'll likely see him ban my Grumper. I think I want to ban the... Eh. I want to ban both the Toxics. One of the other weaknesses this team had that I forgot about is that it's actually very weak to Digi. Digital. But uh, there's not a lot of people running Digital. They're not overly splashable. They're, usually you're going to see them all in a Digi aggro team. I can't pick these two because they got four times weaknesses. Um, what's gonna stop him from picking a Doro Saipat? I think we're just gonna gonna test things out. Mim is the most flexible member of this team because it can turn into anything on the field. If he swaps in Naga, I have to swap out Mimit because it would because it's not it's a Deceit or a Naga. I'm assuming it flips priority order and an Ultra move ultra priority like DNA extraction is that goes before swaps actually goes dead last <laughs> so I would not be able to transform very effectively if he picks Adoro here I go Grumper if he picks anything else I think I just go Baboa so this is still this is still good for me uh, even though I have to swap out the Mimit I should still have a good lead problem is that Baboa cannot one shot Nagais Because with heavy armor and a ton of HP invest, Naga is a menace to deal with. We see Shamarian come in. Very, very interesting. Maybe he's got like Sharp Leaf. Hard to say. I just think Grumper's going to be my best bet here. He, was, he doesn't have any great swap swap ins for Nagais. Because something would have to eat a Thunderstrike. The only thing he has to do that effectively is Scaravolt. But then he'd have a Scaravolt four times weak to Earth in front of an Earth type. I don't think Shamarian would be able to two-shot me either, so I'm not overly afraid. Babua goes down, that makes sense. If I look at spread moves now, Naga's got the only one I see. I guess there's Denigrate and Vigust here. We'll try it. I don't know what moves the Scaravolt has. It could have Meteor Swarm and or Electric Storm. They basically all run Fire Tornado and Thunderstrike, but beyond that, it's it's pretty hard to tell. Mix is going to be good here. If you pick Scaravolt right away, then we know it has a spread move. And since it's half full, it, it could just be running Embers in its flex slot. Even though it's got... It's really only got the two moves it clicks. Maybe Magma Cannon, that's another good one. Three, three turn burn. He doesn't pick it instantly. Very interesting. He picks Saipat first. Saipat and Shween. So I'm going to pick Taifu for sure because that's two nature types. Or two water types. And then there's actually a third over here. So uh, 
Uh, Ostakai's not going to be great. There's two waters. So I'm going to bring Venmet. I know there's still a mental, but just being able to offer strangle support super good. I guess there's always the option of him sacking his Naga here. My team is pretty slow. Get the mom's lunch, that's kind of nice. What do I want to steal with Mimit? Maybe I just stay in. Not be the worst idea. I think I'm actually going to stay in, yeah. I know that I'm going to go last with DNA extraction, but I think that's okay. Ah, shoot, he swaps into Shween. And now I have a Shween with no. Oh, I have Mix, so I can put stuff to sleep. It's not the worst thing ever. Oh, the Rage. I didn't even think about that. I was hoping Scarevel would swap in so I could get a Fire-type. Let's see, because I, I, I can look at the items. So I know that his Shemurian is holding bait. Oh, he's got Quartz Shield. That's nice. I could just, like, buff up my, my Taifu or something. I don't know if he's going to attack the Mimit or the, the Grumper right now. I don't want to get the Quartz Shield off on something. Probably just the, the Taifu. I don't know, but Taifu's so valuable. I just don't have anything but great that can deal with this Shemurian. Yeah, I, I should have held on to the Mimit. Playing it so early was a mistake. Yeah, we're also going to see him buff up his Shemurian. It's just going to be a big issue. Um, Grumper's okay with that. I did proc the bait, so after one more turn, I can... I'd be able to... put it to sleep. At least. So I think I'm gonna swap into Venmet here, just keep the Shween alive, the Mimit. Might even be worth getting a stone wall on it. Fluid barrier, yeah, he's just gonna play around this Shemurian the entire game. Uh, Stonewall goes after, or goes before my, my Stonewall, unfortunately. Oh, refreshing Diabolo. Okay, so I might, I'm gonna either have to ban the Shemurian or the Shween next game. I don't have Kesagatame up yet. More than likely, we're gonna see the Shui, the Naga swap in for the for the Chimurian. I'm just gonna kind of predict that. I think that's the only way I can make a possible comeback from this. Okay. Okay. Oh, I used it on Grumper though! No! Ah, <laughs> oh, darn. 
Okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. There's no reason for him to prevent my Venmet from playing the game at all. I, mean, I can swap in Taifu and probably still get a Thunderstrike off on the Nagais, but I, I just... Pfft, how do I kill this? <laughs> this Jamarian. <laughs> Shween's also a problem, just because it can offer constant buffs. The Chimerian comes back now. Psy Surge, interesting. I guess he just didn't want to risk Grumper somehow living. And then getting an attack off. I didn't rest though, so I don't get the stamina boost. too much of an issue. Like even Typhoon can kill everything on this team other than the Chimerian right now. I did not think that Yeah, just the, the rage and the Shmeen support was way too much more than I could deal with. Oh, I thought that wasn't going to kill. That would have been sad. Let's see. He doesn't have any other ways to prevent sleep on his team. So I can swap in Mix here and then get the Crystal Deluge on the Shimmerian. Doesn't help a whole lot, but it's something. In which we see Psypat come in. Safe retreat. This just helps me get a little bit of health back, which is nice. can just yeah fluid barrier and that actually pushes off to sleep and gives him an amphibian boost so this game is toast <laughs> I can try and denigrate to make something happen I suppose Yeah, one of the biggest problems against are when you're running like a stallier team is like offensive scaling that's faster than you, and this is exactly what that team has because Rage is the fastest offensive scaling in the game. I mean, yeah, because you can turn one, get plus four. Oh, that does nothing because it's because of the two fluid barrier boosts. Yeah, I don't outspeed this side pad. It's plus four. I can kill my mix with anything. <coughs> I, I have to ban the Shween next game. Caused way too many issues here. I would actually use Nito, so it pushed me into Energy or uh, Puppet Master to Energy Reserves. <laughs> Played too much Piranha for too long. Ben Mech can take that, but it cannot attack. Or he cannot finish off Slypat, which sucks. Point nine health. So sad.
if the Psypat uses Nicho, the only thing that can take it and do anything then afterwards is Taifu. But that sucks to have to bring that in. Because Taifu, I really wanted to help deal with Scaravolt and Shimmerian. Oh, he actually isn't going to double in. That's so sad. So there's half full. Baton pass. I don't even know if a Dust Vortex kills this Scaravolt from my uh, Taifu. <laughs> Just kind of funny. And sad. I. Uh, Schmeen's Horn, so that's actually nice for me. We'll get to find out if the Scaravolt has Electric Storm or Meteor Swarm. It'd be important. Because if it, if it has Meteor Swarm, I can be faster with it than the Dust Vortex on Typhoon and then finish, off, finish it off. But if it doesn't, then... Or if it has Electric Storm instead, I believe it will outspeed and kill. I have to refresh here to get some damage for the late game. And then I need Dust Vortex to outspeed and kill Scaravolt. Only chance. Only chance I have. I do have quite a bit of Tem HP in the back. Like, Chimurian can, like, one-shot Tems one after another. But... It'll run out of stamina pretty quickly. Alright, so here's the Crystal Plume. That does a lot, but not enough. Dust Vortex outspeeds. Does it kill? It does! Okay, okay. We're still in this. I need this Crystal Spikes to kill the Shween. I need it to outspeed. I do not have max speed on this mix. But I guess any, the Shemin should be faster than the Chimurian at least, and I don't think that Shemurian's max speed. If it is, that's good information to learn. It uses Course Shield, so it was a fast Shemin. I do kill it. Typhoon lives, gets some some chip on the Chimurian. That's really good. I can use Emanip to get two turns of exhaust. And if it doesn't attack this turn, it will take a Dust Vortex. Use a Sharp Leaf. Okay, so that's good to know it has that move. I have to Crystal Spikes and just see how much damage it even does. Um, water Cannon just because I don't need any buff. Uh, if I Quartz Shield, I probably live the Frond Whip, I, I suppose. Like 2 or 3% ship I don't think is going to matter. And he couldn't Frond Whip because he was exhausted. Refresh on Mix, and then get to the Deluge off now. I'm gonna rest on Mix now. Court Shield Shween again.
I just need some damage in this Shimmerian now. I'm gonna swap to Venmat just to wait out the alert turn. Okay, that's pretty good damage. Use his Frond Whip. I guess I should have exhausted. I wasn't sure if it was actually gonna attack or not. Um, I think one more refresh will actually push me out of Puppet Master, so I, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do another Deluge. More chip damage. <laughs> I... I Crystal Spikes, Quartz Shield. I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised we pulled this one back. Oh no, I didn't want a Crystal Spikes yet. But that's okay, it killed. <laughs> I should have rested for stamina. Oops, my mistake. Uh, GG's on match one there, Scarsing. Uh, I do have to be wary of the Schween in the next round, because that one almost ruined my day. I've played, I've played like 20 games or so with this team, and I still, like every time I'll say, oh, this is a bad matchup, or oh, I'm losing, and then still somehow win games. Sorry about that, I got a phone call. Um, Hazrat, bye bye. So, yep, it's the same team. I didn't ban Shween first because I think I can threaten it with a, a good lead. But I don't know. Yeah, this is. Maybe I should have banned the Chimurian. I could steal the thing too. What's he going to do about it? Embers on his scarifolds. Yeah, so if I use my Mimit this time to steal the Chimurian, Chimurian can hit Adoro. Shween. I mean, Naga. I, can... I think it'll all be good. I mean, there, there's two vine to worry about, but the two vine has fake beard, so I can control it. Like, I can put it to sleep if need be. Oh, uh, we're still we still saw the the Shween. We're very likely to see the Adoro. It's so good against most of my team. I just have nothing against it. Maybe I should have banned the Adoro second. I mean, but it's basically just I'm gonna try and play around these two the entire game, and as soon as something goes wrong, that's when that's when I'm sad. <laughs> I, I just I like the support the Venmet offers. I mean, picking a four times week to mental definitely entices picking the mental. <laughs> but I can I can at least like sacrifice onto something with Venmet, so it's not the worst thing ever. We see two vines, so yep, I definitely pick up Osakai as my last slot. Um, yeah. So this, if I. 
kill the the Naga turn one. That puts me in a good spot. So we're probably just going to see the same lead as last time, honestly. Shween, Shween swap in with the Chimurian. Might not be able to play around Mimit as much as I hoped. Typhoon's going to have to put in work in the late game. Uh, so Nagais does swap out again. Shween. Not surprising. He does have double mentals for synergy this time. Uh, since I had mom's lunch, bait does not actually get to do much of anything at all. So, I could stay in, frond whip the Schween, and probably kill it. And the worst thing he can do is to get a Crystal Plume on my Mimit. Yeah, maybe it won't kill, just because Shemarian doesn't have that great of offensive capabilities, especially since I don't have Hostile proc yet. Maybe I should swap it for now. Bring in the Osakai. I'll be able to sleep the Chimurian next turn. He's got multiple special attackers, so getting a stone wall up isn't going to help much. It'd just be better if I can get some chip on the Chimurian. Maybe I should just keep the Grumper alive so I can bring it up against Naga later. That would have been smarter. Oh, that's okay. So I... So I can drink Whisper Chimurian now. Like, mm, actually, that's probably, like, predictable. He might just swap to a Doro or something. I should double the Shween slot and kill it. No, he stayed in! What is he doing? What did he click? Fluid barrier? Okay. Which slot did he frond whip? I guess he was thinking Shween was faster than my Osakai. And so I wouldn't be able to put the Chim to sleep. Um, best case... Oh, man. I was kind of hoping... Nagais came in so I could 5 PPH the Chimurian, but I it's immunity right now. So I I can do that, I just need like two things to die. What do I want in the late game? I think Venmet's a good ca candidate to die here. And honestly Typhoon might as well. Taifu can eat the... Yeah, so you know, we will swap Osakai into Venmet. And then hope the Chimurian OX is and we'll swap Taifu in. I'm hoping for a, a Frond Whip on the Grumper. We might not see it, we might see a... Like a Sharp Leaf or something. I just want Taifu to have enough HP to... Oh no, he swaps out Chimurian, no! My plans! They're falling apart! Yeah, that's really unfortunate, actually. And he still uses Beta Burst on the Venmet. <laughs> it lived. <laughs> that's funny. Um, if I can get a Priority Strangle here. Yeah, that really sucks. I won't...
can strangle the Adoro. And then leech the Nagice. It won't kill, but I'll at least get some healing from it after I take the, the Beta Burst and the, the V Gust. Because V Gust is synergy, it'll. It'll be spread, unless this somehow kills? No, it doesn't. So there's the hostile proc. So that's nice. The guy can beta burst Typhu if it wants, but that's about the only thing it's able to do. We make it to free CPG on Adoro. I mean, Naga dies to whatever. Decidor is up after this turn. I think I just double the slot. What's he got in the back? Two vine. Okay, so I'll CPG and then DV. Oh, he's running Hypno, really? That's sad. Typhoon does not approve. I was trying to get some chip on Adoros to make sure that it dies to the CPG, but I don't think it matters. It seems like a really bulky Adoro. If my guys attacks at all, it gets outs bed and dies. Oh, Inner Spirit Adoro. Oof. I did not calc for that. I'm pretty bulky. But yeah, that that sucks. Toxic skin tick. Not fun. And it's got an up bar. I didn't catch that earlier. Beta bursts, Typhoon takes it, but it OXs. Um, he probably just brings in Shimmerian, swaps the door for two vine, and then I lose the game. stand a chance here is if he keeps Adoro in and Mimit finishes it off. Then just maybe I can force a, a positive late game situation with Grumper Osakai, but even then it's fat chance. Yeah, he just swaps out. I'm gonna have to definitely ban the Shimmerian, or that's the biggest problem for my team. He attacks Typhoon, which is interesting. Yeah, I mean, this is CPG did 20% of that two vines health. Now I have to hope, I mean, he's just gonna, like, Sharpleaf and Feather Gatling, the, the Osukai. Turbine outspeeds. 
I die, so it doesn't even matter. So that's, there's some speed invest in this two vine at least. I needed to vine or uh, Osakai to take the hit and oh, then to do something next turn somehow. Yeah. Running Chimurian against a team with no fires is really rough. Also, I'm not utilizing Mom's Lunch well enough at all. I'm still not used to that item. I might swap it out just because it's kind of a dead item if I don't use it effectively. The GG Scarcing. It makes it 1 1, and I can send next. I really don't like Hazrat. But it's probably better for my team than Chimurian has proved to be. Maybe I should just ban the Shween. That way he can't get the free rage off and then it's not nearly as much of a problem. Interesting to see he banned Grumper. I guess, yeah, he wants to play around Hazrat now, so that makes sense. What's stopping him from going the Geist Hazrat? I can go Lawaddle. If he picks Scaravolt but doesn't pick Naga, I can pick Osakai. And if he does pick Naga, then I go uh, Babua. Because Babua can deal a lot of damage to Scaravolt and the guys. Here's my Mimit. That's fair. Based on my options remaining, I'm sick of facing raid bosses. We're, we're, we're definitely switching things up this round. Babo is only going to be good in the lead, and then I'm going to want like the rest of my Thames here. So I'll pick Osakai first. It's going to be really important to sleep some of the other stuff. I don't know if his Scythe had outspeeds me yet. It's, I don't think that's a matchup we've had. I'm sure it would with priority, but Ice Cubes wouldn't do insane amounts, and Nietzsche size not super effective. Maybe I do want Typhoon, because Typhoon's really good against these three. And double mental. It's just gonna feel bad with Venmet. Yeah, I need something that can at least look at the mentals and not die. Because if I can create a situation with Mix on on a board with the mentals then I can do something. This is still really rough though. Like turn one I have to choose between one, which do I want Baboa to attack Scaravolt or Nagais, and two, do I swap out Lawaddle? Because like Typhoon's actually a really good swap turn one here. But then I have a, a horrible board for whatever Toxic comes in afterwards. Might even be worth swapping an Osakai. There's double mental and Psypat. I'm gonna do that. And then I'll Toxic Slam the Scaravolt. Okay, so Nagais leaves. Adoro comes in. That's fair. Still not a great matchup for Osakai, but if we see the, th the electric move, then uh, that's good. Babua is faster, and by that I mean slower than the Scaravolt. See the T-Strike. So that's, that's really good. Oh, Scaravolt maybe swaps out. It's one of his spread move users. 
could swap into like Psypat to get Psypat or Nagais to get Vigas synergy. Otherwise, he has to choose between Beta or Vigas on my uh, targets here. Honestly, I think I'm gonna Nito and Water Cutting. Should cover for just about everything swapping in. He just stays in, as is. I wonder which one he's going to target, I have no idea. Uh, he uses Denigrate, okay. Otherwise my Baba wouldn't outspeed. That's not, not a lot of damage, but any chip on Adoro is nice. I, have n I honestly don't know if Bob was in range to that V-Gust. I think so. Especially if it's... Well, it's not Synergy Master, so... Possibly wouldn't die. I've seen a guys come in. Kind of interesting. Maybe baiting me to stay in. You can do the funny thing now. That's cool. Can do the funny thing. Priority 5 PPH, yay! I mean, the chances that we see Hazrat swap in are very, very high. But not high- oh wait, no, this goes before swaps, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, so Nagais does swap here. For Hazrat. No surprises. Bobo axes. I kind of hope it dies here. It's. I mean, I guess it was one of my better things against Nagais, but. Oh, he... Yeah. Taking out Osaka is smart. Because Bobo was dead on the sport, anyways. Plus the Hazrat Mom's Lunch makes me Baba overexert just a little bit. Yeah, this is this is very interesting. I'm gonna keep Baba alive for now. Erdic Cage isn't going to do nothing to this stupid rat. I'm going to swap in Mix. Mix's use is dwindling as the mentals start dying. And by mental, I particularly mean Adoro. If I can kill Hazrat. Then Typhoon and Baboa can sweep the late game. But killing Hazrat's gonna be very difficult. If I can eat a lava wave here, I'll be able to go into Puppet Master. He does target the mix, so that's interesting. Okay. If we see a denigrate, that would be bad. It's definitely possible. Hey, we do. Mix lives. I don't have enough stamina to... to do this. He wants to swap in his Saipat and or Nagais to eat for the Vigas synergy to finish off Mix. I don't think an Imanip plus Faraday Cage even kills here. I don't have any swaps either. So if I was to sack the lesser use the less useful I don't know, it's got enough stamina, so it won't even OX. I don't want to 
want to sacrifice yet because I won't get the full value out of. Yeah, shoot. This is this is not good. Not good. Which one's it gonna be? You know, Saipat. So I guess correct it with Imanip. I mean, I guess Crystal Spike still does more, even super effective. So that was still kind of troll. I just see green circle. I want to click it. <laughs> yeah, not having the stamina on Lodal hurts. Oh, oh, the synergy. Yeah, yeah, I, I planned that totally, 100%. No questions. Yep, I remember isolates a condition. Definitely. <laughs> I can't believe the game may have just been saved by my accidental... <laughs> it's okay, guys. If you ever feel bad about making a mistake in a game, just remember that even top-level players forget the... Uh, status conditions. Entire status conditions even exist. <laughs> okay, this game is not over yet. The guy swaps in. He's he got he's got to get that fury off hold. Oh no, he's. I f there was also that that I. Didn't acknowledge. So I had the advantage again, and then I threw it just as quickly. It's bad. <laughs> Game's still not over yet. Adoro goes down. If he stays in with Nagais, Nagais goes down. He stays in with Nagais. Uses hypnosis. Okay, so he buys a turn. On side pat, very interesting. I guess he probably realizes that my Typhoon has Dust Vortex. Now it's a question of does he swap out the side pat? Does it even matter? So I don't think Saipat can do anything this turn. I think I just attack the guys, and then for fun I'll just try and hit Saipat. He did swap out Saipat though. That makes enough sense. Beta burst, goodbye in a guy's stamina bar. Okay. Uh, Dust Vortex has rat. I believe that kills. It seems like a squishy has rat. So he has to double into Typhoon this turn. I'm gonna water cutting Lily. That'll finish off Saipat, which was Luwaddle's biggest threat. Nito? Okay. So it's faster and it lowers my defense. It's a waste water. Do I live? The question? I do. I do live. 
Azurite doesn't go down, but I don't think it matters. Unless it has Toxin Shower, and that somehow, like, a, in a ton of special attack invest and gets a critical hit on Babola. Venomous Claws, just trying to maybe go down with Dignity. Maybe I shouldn't have revealed Emon up. <laughs> oh well. GG's Scarcing. Very close set. Um, but yes, so that was our fourth round. So there's only one more round of round robin. And then we'll go to the finals. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.